So the first point I'd like to make um, is, for me, one of the key takeaways from going through the co-op program was that you learn a lot of things that you don't realize you're learning. Um, and I have a specific example to give you guys. So one of the projects that uh, I worked on, uh, I think, in my second year uh, in the BIT program, uh, was a programming project with uh, three other members of the course in a team. Um, and the task at hand uh, was to create a system for checking out videos at a video rental shop uh, using COBOL. So uh, both the product and the technology obviously still around today, very important, uh, the video rental industry and COBOL programming. Probably not that useful in my career. However, what was useful was working with those four people, having lots of late night arguments, working out who did what, navigating the politics of that situation, getting this thing delivered on time. In retrospect, that was the value of the lesson. I thought it was all about learning how to you know, go through your COBOL header and make sure everything was in the right place. The value of that experience was actually in learning how to work with other people. Second thing that I learnt in co-op, and I think this is particularly relevant for, you, for those of you that are recent graduates or still in the program, um, is that industrial training gives you unreasonable confidence. <laughs> so let me explain a little bit what I, my, what I mean by that. So one of my industrial training sessions was uh, at Unilever. And one of the first jobs that I had was to go through a database of uh, names for nail polish. You know, things like, you know, heaven, scent, and midnight, mask, and all this stuff. So again, not really a skill that I've applied much in my professional career, although I do now have two young daughters, so perhaps it's going to come back at some point. Um, but I think the value to me of going through that industrial training experience was the sense that once I came out into the workforce, I kind of knew how to, to basically navigate that world. And what I mean by giving, it, giving us unreasonable confidence, uh, as, as Shane has said in his introduction, one of the things I did fairly early on in my career is start a company. In retrospect, knowing how hard that is, having gone through the process, I don't think I would have done that <laughs> if I hadn't come out of university feeling like I you know, could have a crack at things and I could take those kinds of risks. And a large part of that was going through that industrial training process. And I think it's very important, obviously, when we talk about the impact the course has in industry, the way in which it can encourage us to take risks and do those kinds of things. And certainly in my field, if you talk about technology, information technology, uh, in particular, the whole engine uh, in our industry is people going out taking risks. And I, I don't feel that I would have been prepared to do that if I hadn't thought, well, gee, I know the answer to everything, right? I've had 18 months of work experience before I've graduated. <laughs> but that leads me to my third point, and I'm going to digress a little bit uh, on this, and perhaps not for the first time in this speech, so please bear with me. I was actually uh, on holiday a couple of weeks ago uh, in Mexico. I was sitting by the pool. I was reading um, a book called Y E equals MC squared, uh, which is written basically for uh, dummies like me that want to understand a little bit about uh, Einstein's theory of relativity. This is relevant, by the way. I'm going to get to this. Uh, it's written by uh, Brian Cox. And a thought struck me. So he's talking in this book about how great theories in science get to fundamental truths. So he talks about, you know, Newton and these other guys came up with their ideas of gravitation and so forth, but they weren't really right. They had to kind of get beneath the surface of these things to work out what was going on. And the more I thought about the first two things that I've touched on, the more it occurred to me that there is actually a third thing that underlies all of this, which is really, to me, the great value of the co-op program, and certainly the great value to me over the last 25 years. And the best way I can put it is that the most important stuff uh, is the soft stuff. This is a little bizarre, because those that know me know that I'm not really known for the softer stuff, I tend to be fairly rational. Um, for me to stand up here and talk about relationships, uh, interpersonal relationships and stuff, um, it's maybe a little strange. But I really started to think about this, and again, this is the second time you'll have to indulge me this evening, I promise I'll be quick. What I actually did is I made a list of all the things or at least some of the things that I have done with fellow co-op scholars. Um, and it's quite a long list, but I'm going to go through it to give you a sense of how deeply we're connected. 
So uh, I edited Tharunka. Um, I ate bacon sandwiches at 3 a.m. Um, I've best manned at two, we uh, two weddings of co-op scholars. In fact, both of them between uh, co-op scholars. Um, I partied at at least three bachelor parties that I remember. Uh, I started a company. Uh, I ran a company. I sold a company. I, ran I won an Emmy with other co-op scholars. Um, I've attempted unsuccessfully uh, to shave the legs of one particular scholar. Um, he's actually here tonight. Uh, my children now count at least seven, and I'm being conservative here, at least seven other children of fellow scholars as friends. Um, I've been to many places with co-op scholars, Delhi, uh, the Bridge Over River Kwai, Paris, Munich, etc. More interestingly, I've drunk beer in many places with fellow co-op scholars. Of course, the Uni Bar, uh, a pub in Tooting Beck in London, uh, a Shanghai fish restaurant, uh, the Duke of Edinburgh, uh, it's a very famous um, watering hole in Silicon Valley, the Hofbrau House in Munich, uh, a bar in Oakland that was actually held up the next day, and uh, uh, in Pat Bong in uh, Thailand, although I think I'm exaggerating about that, I think I chickened out and stayed in the hotel that evening. Lots of barbecues, dinner parties, and so forth. Um, I've played a game of touch football where I'm the only one that got tackled. Um, I've learned to snowboard with fellow scholars. Uh, we got the original BIT Students Association rolling. Um, I've shared houses with them. I even paid rent at some of them. Um, I've had massages with, although always in separate rooms. Um, I've written bad poetry for members of the co-op uh, uh, program. There's been various hookings up and breakings up that I won't go into. Um, I've even ridden a terrifying ride on the top of the stratosphere in Las Vegas that uh, shoots you up into the sky. So kind of a long and silly list, but I think the point that I'm getting at here and really what I want to leave you with is these have been, without any doubt, some of the most formative relationships of my life. And we're not just talking professional, which is obviously the case, starting companies, uh, connected to people and so forth, but also at a personal level, um, these are people that have really shaped uh, the last 25 years for me. And to me, this is the real strength of the co-op program. The way people are selected, the people that come into the program, uh, the people you get to work with. And in that sense, I really feel today that I'm in everyone's debt, not just my uh, year, of course, but everyone that's here this evening. Um, I'm sure there are equally ridiculous tales to be told in this room amongst all of you. Perhaps I'll see, hear some of them this evening because I'll be drinking, obviously, uh, with the first year there at the back of the bar. And I'm also looking forward to what I know is around the corner in terms of new ventures and new ideas that comes out of this pool. It was very flattering of me to be given the chance to speak. I realize there have been already many great successes amongst the alumni community, and we can only look forward to more, uh, at, uh, for more to come. So with that, I'll let you get on with the drinking. I appreciate your time, and I look forward to meeting some of you later on. Thanks again. Thank you.